So now let's see how we can work around with filter curve EQ inside of Audacity. So in order to work around with filter curve EQ, I'm going to go around into file and then I'm going to click on open so that I can go around and select out the music of my choice and then I'm going to click on open right here. So once I do that, you can see that this is what you have. So if I were to press the play button, by pressing spacebar, this is what you hear. So now I'm going to apply the filter curb EQ effect right here. So in order to apply the effect, I'm going to press control all, uh, control A to select everything out right here. So now I'm going to go around into uh, effect right here and here you will be able to see filter curb EQ. So once I click on this, you get this. And right now it's flat, so you can preview this out. So in order to change out the effect, you can go around right here, click on to add in points. So here you can see that there's different range of hertz right here. So if I were to increase out the 20 hertz range right here, then this is what you have as you can see. And I can also go around and decrease out the higher range. So now what happens is that the bass increases out. So if I were to preview this, there's more of a base right here. So I'm going to decrease this now. As you can see, I can also pull this out right here to decrease out the point. And if I were to click and drag this out right here and play this, preview this, you can hear out that there is more of treble right here. So I can go around, increase the boss, and then decrease out the midpoint by adding in flat, um, uh, this as well. So if I were to preview this, you got the treble and the boss right here. You can flatten it out by clicking on the flatten button or if you want to invert this out as well, you can click on invert as well. Click on invert and you can see that it inverts it out vertically as you can see. So you can go around, preview this and that is how it is uh, actually applied. You can also go around onto linear uh, frequency scale if you want to. So you can go around right here, change this out as well. And once you're happy with what you have right here, you can go around and press OK and then it'll be applied on to the audio that you selected. And that is how you can use the filter curve EQ to change out different frequency levels inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.